start after holding TCU to an early field goal. First quarter highlights coming your way now on the Rice Owl Football Show. Prince was the second floor of the Lovett building. They strung 600 Burger King crowns together and dropped them from there. It's kind of strange. <laughs> <laughs> At the 20-yard line of Rice. Canine will give it to Mitchell. Up the middle, he's tripped the knockdown at that point. He was short of the line of scrimmage. Rashad Reynolds makes the tackle for the Owls. They lose a half a yard on the play. The director did not get a great spot on the last play. Second and nearly 11 yards to go for the Owl offense. Nelson, pitch back to Perry. They'll try the right side, looking for blockers. Gets to the 20, 25, bowls over defender and gets to the 27-yard line. J.W. Wilson, Eric Anderson there defensively. He picks up seven. Offensive guard Mark Spinner, the right offensive tackle. Mike Jones gets to start at tight end because Byron Godfrey injured in practice this week. Jason Blackwell is the wide receiver. Third down for the Owls. Nelson will put it into the fullback's belly and then keep it, get it to the 30, 35, or get all the way to the 33-yard line. Oh, great job by Chad Nelson of reading his fullback. He knew the fullback wouldn't get much. They had a well defense. He pulled the ball out of his belly and kept it. It goes 11 yards. Now, all right, first down, Owls at midfield, open field to the right. They're going to option to the right. Richardson, the trailing back, and they'll pitch it to Richardson at the 50, 45, 40, and it'll get to the 37-yard line. A dangerous pitch by Chad Nelson, perfectly executed just as he got hit. He let it fly to Chad Richardson, and Eric Anderson makes the tackle, but they pick up nine yards. Tenth play coming on this drive for the Owls. Their initial possession of the game, they trail 3-0 with 8.15 to go in the first quarter. Second and nine. Play fake by Nelson, wants to throw. Looks, looks. He's pressured. Now throws it. Has a man complete at the 13-yard line. Rod Newhouse with the completion. Boy, Nelson had to elude a couple of defenders. J.W. Wilson there putting the pressure on. Nelson did a great job of buying time. And he just threw a strike to Rod Newhouse. A second and a long six for the Owls. They're at the nine-yard line of TCU, trailing 3 nothing. Spread the formation for the Owls. Nelson fakes it to the fullback. He's going to run it. Now pitch back to his tailback. Michael Perry will go in untouched around the left corner. Michael Perry scores his 10th rushing touchdown of the season, 11th overall. That's a nine-yard TD run, and the Owls have their first lead of the game with 7.24 to go in the first. It's a fullback offset to the left, the tailback lining up seven yards deep behind the quarterback, third and long, third and about 14. They're going to give it to Basil Mitchell, the tailback at the 30, and that's all. Adolphus McCallum there, Julian Duncan, Rashad Reynolds. It's a three-way split on that tackle. And it's going to be fourth and about 11 yards to go for the Horn Frog. Right they're stopping them from going to the corner. Okay, Rice has converted both of their third down opportunities on the afternoon. This will be tough, third and nine and a half. Nelson rolls to his left, looking to throw, looking to throw. Now he's going to run it at the 50, 45, 40 at the 39-yard line. How about Chad Nelson? Whoa! Oh. And just a couple of defenders left in his wake. One of them, Chris Staten. He got in on part of that tackle, but I tell you, he's knocked a little Lulu. I think Nelson's knee might have caught him in the head as he went over the top of him. 16 yards on the carry for Chad Nelson. I don't know what's up, but Ken Hatfield is not happy. He was just stomping his feet down there. Well, they had a great chance for a big play. That's what he's unhappy about. Nelson, second and 15, open field to the right again. Wishbone set in the backfield, fakes it to the fullback, and runs it. Beats the corner on the left side, 40 at the 30, at the 25-yard line. Chad Nelson does it himself. He says, heck with that air stuff. I'll just stick to the ground. Aaron Schobel runs him out, picks up 18 yards. Big open side of the field. Break the bone. Kalon Gordon is wing right in the backfield. Perry, the halfback, left with the fullback. Give it to Perry, and he gets a hole. He pushes a pile inside the 20 to about the 18-yard line. And he picks up at least six on the play. Pigeon's in there now, wide receiver. He's wide right. Tight end, Mike Jones is flexed wide to the left. That's the open side of the field on second and nine. Nelson, wishbone set on the backfield. Takes a snap, fakes to the fullback, optioning to the left. He will run it at the 10, get a block, five. Touchdown, Rice! Oh, Mike Jones out there blocking. Who else got a block out there? Is one of the return men for TCU. If I say that several times today, that means Rice has scored a bunch of touchdowns, right, Tom? I think so. He's back there with Reggie Hunt. They're going to kick it away from both and kick it out of the end zone. So TC, whoa, look out. A hit after the whistle. Is going to go wide to the left side, and the tight end is stacked right on top of him behind him. 
And Simmons is wide right. Now the tight end in motion. And they'll pitch it back to the tailback. And he'll lose about a yard and a half. Terrence Melton on the tackle. That's LaDainian Tomlinson, the guy I was talking about. He's a true freshman out of Waco High School. Playing a good game so far. Lou Porch is lined up at fullback in the I formation. They're going to give it to Tomlinson again. And rough and hammered him before he could get to the line of scrimmage. He might have got past the line of scrimmage, but not much more. Boy, Larry Ruffin drew a bead on him and unloaded. That's a look at the first quarter of Rice's TCU. Department. One more home game to go this year. It is two weeks from today. Texas El Paso comes to town at 2 p.m. Fan department to punt from his own 13-yard line. McCall is standing back at his own 33 to receive for the Owls. They have a return set up with their unit. Here's Huffman. The punt is away, and he booms it. Big high hanger. McCullough retreats to the 17, takes it, and now gets a block to the 15, 20, 25, 30. He's off to the races. Has a punt of the beat, and he does at the 40. Let's count it off. 25, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Rice. Adolphius McCullough goes the distance on the punt return. First half, Rice up, though, 21 to 3 at this point. Canine has Mitchell, his only running back in his formation, open field to the left. He awaits a snap, straight drop, looks to throw, fires, has a man slanting across, it's broken up, and they say incomplete pass. Adrian Sadler pulled a lick on Torrey Simmons as just as he got a hold of that football. All right, one of four. Those are the stats, the conversion rate for TCU on third down thus far this afternoon. One of four. Here's Kanine, back to throw, gets a block, looks, and now the protection breaks down, and they sack him. Back at the 19-yard line, Andy Clifton. Rashad Reynolds was coming backside, and Andy Clifton was breathing right into, into his face mask, and Clifton will get the sack. Same fullback in there, Leshber, same halfbacks, Perry and Newhouse behind the quarterback, Nelson. Here's Chad on first down, faking it to the half, but fullback, and he keep it. 25 to the 30, he gets 11 or 12 yards on first down. Boy, he's just as quick as a hiccup. Second quarter, Kalon Gordon is the left halfback. He's wing left. Lesh with the fullback and Michael Perry the right halfback as they break the bone. Here's Nelson, option to the left, and they run right past him. He'll get to the 50, he'll get to the 45 at TCU, and almost a late hit on the far sideline. Nelson picks up the first down yardage plus, give him nine yards on the carry. The big upset of BYU, but they trail today 14-0. All right, for the two-point conversion, Kanine with hands under center, puts a man in motion. He'll take the snap, rolls to his right, throws it, and he's outside of the end zone. They fumble it. Rice is going to try to run it. No, it's an incomplete pass. In fact, TCU very easily could have 21 points on the board right now and be tied. Rice Huffman back to return for TCU. Scott Grimes to punt from his own 30-yard line. Punt is away. High boomer into the breeze. Huffman takes it at his 15, looking for a block, and he's tackled. At the 17-yard line. The last couple of series of left mm -hmm. tackle and Sandoval back on the right. Neil Gray, they say, is possible there for, a, you know, just an emergency duty, but Neil's still pretty nicked up. They're going to give it to Lesper, and Clint hammers his way outside the 35 to the 36-yard line. On first down, they pick up six yards. We've reached halftime, and I look back at Rice first.